there folks, it's Josh, Johnny Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Got something going on here. I bought some cool lights, okay? So these are a LED motion detect light. It's called a gutter light, okay? And it mounts onto the side of your house and is powered by solar power. So the problem we're running into here in the dark is that we're running around the house a whole lot in the dark and we only have lights on the front porch and the back porch and we don't have lights in between our garage and our house. So the solution, could be these guys. They're really, really bright. Here, let me turn it on. So they're really, really bright, guys. That's a flashing mode. I don't know what that mode is, but they're really extremely bright. I've actually used these for lighting when I get ready to uh, run the camera sometimes. So I'll set them out in front of me like this, and I'll use these for lights. They actually have a quarter inch mount, so you could put them on a tripod and use them for lights for filming. Whoops, that was backwards. That's the right way. They really work great and they have a little motion sensor right here. So we're gonna put up two different kinds of lights and I've had these guys outside charging all day. Anyhow, we're gonna put that thing up. We're gonna put another one up too. So come on back here in just a second and we'll take you around and show you the lights we're gonna put up. This is the other style light. Come on back, we'll talk about it. We'll have some fun together today. Woo! So I don't know if any of you guys are on the East Coast or not, but it is frigid here. This is not the norm. I cannot remember a time in my lifetime that it's been this cold for this long. The wind's been whipping at about 20 miles an hour today. I'm gonna put all these lights up around the house to surprise Mrs. Stony Ridge when she comes home from work this evening. It's dark when we leave and it's dark when we get home. So I also have freezing, freezing cold hands. So I got these new gloves. They're Magpul Patrol gloves. We're gonna try them, see how they fit, and see if they keep my hands warm. FYI guys, I'm not sponsored by Magpul. It's just an American company that I believe in, and I buy a lot of their products. So this shirt is Magpul, and these gloves are Magpul. They're a good looking glove, that's for sure. They're put together this odd contraption, which I just wanna pull. Let's see here. Probably avoid the warranty on these gloves by snatching this stuff, but my hands are so cold. You guys use your mouth as a hand sometimes. Let's just snap that loose. So they're the Magpul Patrol gloves. And I got the 2XL because evidently they're made for European hands or something. I don't know. They're the Euro fit. So my hands are big. I normally wear an extra large glove. And it's tight getting on there, man. Really tight. Goodness. Seem to fit nice. They look really nice too, but it doesn't matter if they look nice if they don't work. So let's try them out today. <laughs> See how they do. They've been out in the cold and they're stiff. We gotta get busy. I'll show you these lights we're gonna put up. So here are the lights that I have. They're the SLP2 gutter lights, okay? And this is what they're gonna look like after they're installed. They basically have a little mounting bracket and a little rod and you just mount them on the side of the house. Should be pretty simple, pretty easy, right? This kit comes with two LED lights. These are the LEDs, that's the solar charger, large solar charger. So I'm gonna be using these on the north side of the house, okay? It's not gonna get as much sunlight, but I want it to be bright there. I want it to be really bright so when we walk in the house, this thing brightens it up. So my wife will be happy. Comes with this mounting hardware and instructions pretty simple stuff all the hardware basically these rods right here that's all the hardware pretty much now the second light doesn't have much of a box the box really doesn't tell you much it's just a brown inconspicuous box but inside here is a coupon so pause your computer right now and scan that okay that's 10 percent off it says takes 10 percent off your next purchase i don't know how many times it'll work but if you want to buy some of these lights takes 10% off. I expected them to be a little bit bigger, but they have a lot of LEDs and another motion light on there. And the way they install is just simply by mounting screws here, okay? So it just has one mounting screw. See that hole? Just one mounting screw, and that should be it. Should be pretty simple. And we're gonna put these in between the two buildings, and I've got four of them, so we're gonna put one right here. Let me show you, it's easier to show you. We're gonna put one right here, whoop, right there. We're gonna put one right there, and then we're gonna put one in between the two buildings. So let's go over there and get to work. Let's get down with it. 
and I'm gonna take you outside later on tonight and freeze my butt off and show you if they work, if they're bright. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do as much pre-assembly on this guy as I possibly can. So let's bring the camera down here and show you. So I have two lights in the package and I have four of these rods. So what it's telling me is to screw these rods together like so and then they mount into the light just like so pretty simple and this light is going to hang out like that far here is the hardware piece that you use to mount the light and basically it just mounts right up to there so a piece of hardware screws to the wall and then it looks like it actually angles the light up just a little bit you'll see the finished product in a minute but I'm just trying to get an idea for myself it looks like it just angles the light up another use of the mouth for a tool we will slip that little screw in there's a screw right here and then we'll get it started let's see how good these gloves are at manipulating tiny objects got her started we we'll use our drill snug her up a bit it's so windy out I'm about to lose all the parts you guys see the trees swaying back there in the background all right what makes sense to me is for the light to be angled that way uh, let's get it all together here nice and snug nice and even looks like we got it together these have been sitting out in the sun all day long so I could get a good charge on them too and they've got a button on here that says mode and I'm not sure what mode to put them in but I'm gonna learn that in a second too we'll see I'll let you guys know if these things are crap or not and if it's something you might be interested in having on the outside of your shop or shed or something like that so when you walk up in the dark in the winter time you don't have to be blind you don't have to carry a flashlight okay guys so we read the instructions it says to press the button and hold for two seconds one blink is one quarter light let's see there's one blink and that's one quarter light we'll hold it again and it blinks twice that's half brightness okay we want to hit it again it blinks three times and that's dim mode three okay and we hit it four times and that is the Mac Daddy high brightness mode that we want two three four blinks so when we hang these up that'll be full brightness so when the wifey walks underneath there and when I show you again tonight these should be at their full bright setting rad guys all these lights are fairly compact which they're much more compact than I thought they would be the gutter light this light right here it's bright I expect it to be really bright now it's cold outside so that's gonna have an effect on the brightness until it gets good and warmed up now this little guy he has replaceable batteries so the reason I bought him is because I could replace these batteries at some point and basically you just pull this little green tab stick that in a trash pocket and turn it on to settings it has a setting thing for setting one two and three now we got some reading to do to see what one, two, and three. I'm assuming one is dim, two is medium, and three is bah, bright. So let's see, got some reading to do here. One is medium light mode, two is dim light sensor mode, and three is sensor mode. The product charges in the day and auto runs from 17 to 20 seconds and then the light will go off when there's no motion. So we want it in three sensor mode and we're gonna program all four of them to be in sensor mode, mode number three. It's just that simple click the switch over cool hopefully they charged up good today I had them angled right at the Sun that solar panel guys this is the part of the video where I asked you to click that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and leave me a comment down there if you have any questions or comments I'll post a link down below to both these different lights and I'll also post a link to the Amazon Stony Ridge farmer store okay I don't actually sell the products in there but they're all products that I use here on the vlog from day to day we're gonna get over here and we're gonna start putting them up Magpul gloves seem to be pretty good my fingertips are getting a little chilly but they're not a warm weather glove they're a tactical glove they got nice padding right here too so in case you want to punch somebody <laughs> don't beat yourself up over it what good would having a YouTube channel be if you couldn't make fun of yourself and have a little bit of fun that's what this is all about anyway isn't it guys watching somebody have some fun learn about stuff doing fun stuff enjoying your life and having a little bit of fun all right folks so we're on the south side of the house these little guys did not come with hardware to mount but I just got a regular outdoor deck screw and we're gonna zip that screw right through there and that's what it'll look like now if I get really really OCD I may take a little black magic marker a little dab of black paint and plop it on there depends on how OCD I get I think I'm gonna get a sharpie let's get it up there all right so we're at the center point between the light and the back porch and the corner of the house 
and we're going to put it right here and basically I'm going to flush mount it right up next to the fascia board here. I guess that's what you call it. I think it's called a fascia board. So we're going to zip a screw in and it'll be just that simple. Two seconds. Now, being the OCD farmer guy that I am, I would like to level this up. Ooh, where'd that come from? So I don't know if eyeball level is good for you guys, but eyeball level, when I've got plenty of good levels, is not good enough for me. We got three more to hang. I didn't plan on putting one on the corner here, but it just seems to make sense. So we'll probably put one on this corner, and then we'll go right around here and put another one fairly close to the corner, maybe about three or four inches from the corner. And guess what? I got my Sharpie. I couldn't stand it. You know when you're doing something like this and you just put that extra little bit of attention to detail, it would never bother anybody ever. Nobody would ever ever notice that the screw was a different color but me. And it bothers me. So I had to do it. And guess what else bothers me? That I forgot to turn that one on and I've got to take it back down. It's life guys. Get her level out. Make sure she's right and tight. Throw a little sharpie action on there. Question is can I reach around and get this other one? No. There we go. Very, very simple to mount these. Just take a little level, throw it on there, good to go. So simple. I think these lights have worked great as like fence lights. Hopefully they'll light up this area good. I'm, I'm really excited to see what they'll do tonight. All right, so you don't need to see me mount another one of those up. So we're gonna start here on the front of the house and basically we'll mount one probably right about there and then one about halfway down those gutter lights those really powerful lights i'm excited to see those in action okay so we're going to go up with this guy first and it, you see how far it sticks out from the house yeah, it's probably a good i'm gonna say a foot and a half something like that and we're only going to be able to get one screw into a stud so we'll use one screw as a mounting a really strong mounting screw and one screw as a stabilizing screw and really that's really all you'll need i think uh, unless you get like a heavy snow load on it and then I can use enough common sense to come out here and just whoop, rotate it whoosh, to the side that way the snow won't knock it off cool we don't get a lot of snow here anyway let's throw it up all right I got one screw in let's throw a level on here man you can't beat that she's hung pretty nice I'm gonna make sure my lights level just by throwing my level up here cool it's up there and this one is crooked as it can be <laughs> so we just need to twist it in this position here and we'll keep an eye on our level all right well to say the least guys i'm really happy with the installation we went on and used our heavy duty deck screws to mount all the lights just because i feel like they're a little bit heavier duty and they sink in a little bit further so right now we just got to wait for it to get dark and check it out and see how we did. So now me and the dogs have got to go check on the goats. We got to go water the goats and the chickens and make sure everybody's good and safe and warm. We're going to put some extra straw in for the goats today. Come on guys, let's go check the goats. So folks, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm today. I've been sitting in the house looking at this cold weather outside thinking, stop being a wuss, get out, go out and do something. Got some new gloves, thought I'd try those out. My hands are still warm, fingertips are a little chilly, but once again, it's like 25 degrees out here and they're not cold weather gloves. They seem to be doing just fine. I was able to manipulate those screws just fine with them. I'll post a link down below in the description if you want to get a set of these cool Magpul gloves. They're padded in the knuckles, so no more knuckle busting. Kind of like that. A uh, little Velcro strap too. Anyhow, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I appreciate you. I appreciate your clicks, your likes, your comments. Guys, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Come on back and see me next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. I'll let you know if these things are good or if they're, if they're dud. So we'll go back outside after it's dark and check them out. I'll show you here at the end of the video. Thanks a lot for joining me today, guys. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and please click that bell down below. It'll let you know when I post a new video. What good would it do to be subscribed if you didn't know when I posted a new video, right? Come on back and see me. Woo! Well, come on down to the
Stony Ridge, bring your wife, bring your kids, we're living life pure and sweet, that's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Okay, folks, it's time to go and test the lights. So let's go out here. It's nice and dark. All right, let's see how we do. It's going to be dark now. Let's see. All right. Walking, walking. Whoop, there's light number one and light number two. So instantly they came on, and look at that. Man, they lit it up nice. Now, these two guys just came on and they lit it up in between this building nice. Let's see here. Let's walk around back. And boom. Nice. 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 So you can see just the light on my face right here. This thing really is pumping out some light. These have 24 LEDs in them. Each one of those has 24 LEDs and it has a 120 degree range. And the other one has, I think we determined 30 LEDs. So let's let's go around. It's dark. It's dark here now. And we're gonna walk through. Boom. Boom. Nice. Around the corner. Dark. Boom. Boom. Very happy. Very, very happy. So folks, once again, I'll post a link to these lights. Uh, I, I like the gutter lights a little bit better, but the other lights, I think, were a little bit less expensive, and they still get the job done pretty nice. Uh, here's the dark, and boom. I mean, it lights it up pretty good. So I'm happy with all the lights. That's, that's pretty awesome. I'll post a link down below to these cool lights. Thanks, guys. Come on back and see me again. All right?